Hi guys, welcome you all to my channel Explore Edu to T. So today we will be learning another kind of ADC called as the Successive Approximation Register kind of ADC, SAR kind of ADC. In the last class we have learned about flash type of ADC. Also videos on DAC that is the weighted resistor kind of DAC and the R2 ladder DAC is already uploaded on my YouTube channel. You can go and watch it in the digital electronics playlist if you haven't watched it till now. So this topic will be about SAR ADC. We will be talking about the diagram and the operation and then we will be talking about the advantages and disadvantages of the scene. So let's begin up with the SAR or the successive approximation register ADC. So basically what happens is that we have this op-amp which is acting as a comparator. It is a two input comparator which has an external input VA and the other is the analog output V0. The output is given to the counter. The counter will then give the output to the DAC. So it's just a cyclic kind of thing wherein you have a op-amp acting like a comparator. We have a programmable counter, we'll be talking about it. And then we have the DAC that is the digital to analog converter. So basically what is going to happen is that we have the analog input which is going to be converted into a digital output. Okay, so be very clear about this how things are going to take place and you should understand about it. So let's try to understand. It's a 3-bit kind of counter if I assume A2, A1, A0. We will be first of all substituting A2 as 1 and A1 and A0 as 0. So if you're seeing over here, the A2 value is set as 1 and A1, A0 value is set as 0. So when this is given to a DAC, the output is obtained as a V out, which is an analog output. So if you know, it's a 3-bit kind of thing, A2, A1, A0, which is 1, 0, 0. It is given to a DAC and which gives output as a V0, that is the digital to analog converter. Now, this comparator has two inputs. One is the external input VA. And the other one is the V0. Am I coming across? The comparator, which is the op-amp over here, has two inputs. One is the external input VA. And the other is the digital to analog converter output V0. Okay. So what happens is that when I'm giving this to a op-amp, which is acting like a comparator, this external input VA, which is the analog voltage value which has to be converted into digital is compared with the V0 value over here. So if this VA, I have given the direct comparison over here, if the VA value which is the analog input to be converted into digital output is greater than my V0, in that case my A2 is equal to 1. And if my VA which is the extra, which is the analog input is smaller than my V0, then my A2 is set as 0. So what is done is that initially I am setting A2 as 1 and A1, A0 as 0. So A1, A0 we will be talking about later. Right now we will be talking about A2 whether it should be 1 or 0. So I am going to assume it as 1. I am going to convert this 1, 0, 0 into digital to analog converter as V0. The VA will be compared with V0 and the output will be given. If the VA is greater than V0, my A2 is 1 and if my VA is smaller than V0, then my A2 is equal to 0. So I hope I am very clear with this. Then I have A2 is set as 1 now. Now we will try for A1. So the as you know, A2 is already set as 1. It is decided as 1. So it is 1. For A1, let us try to assume now as 1 and A0 is 0. So now our concentration is on A1. So 1, 1, 0 will be giving me a digital to analog output V0. Again my VA will be compared to V0. Okay, my VA will be compared to V0. If it is greater than A, A1 is 1 or my A1 will be 0. Please uh, make a correction over here. 
it is a1 not a2 i repeat it is a1 not a2 okay make this correction the notes are already uploaded so this correction please make a point it is not a2 a1 a2 is already set as 1 so my a so if my v is greater than v not a1 will be 1 if my v is smaller than v not my a1 will be 0 similarly we can talk about a0 as well and we can decide the values of all the bits a2 a1 a0 so what is the advantage of a digital to analog uh, for, for for analog digital converter called as sar successive approximation register is the speed the speed of such kind of adcs is very fast it is n into t clock where n indicates the number of bits and t clock that is the period of the clock so it is comparatively faster but the noise immunity it can get easily affected by noise so that is a disadvantage of such kind of adc so to just to summarize you sar is a another kind of adc that is successive approximation register in which we have initially like va is the analog output which has to be converted into digital so if it is a 3 bit kind of counter assuming a2 a1 a0 i am going to consider a2 as 1 and a1 a0 as 0 because we need to first set the value of a2 as 1 or 0 so assuming it as 1 let's see what happens so this a2 a1 a0 is converted to analog output v0 then it's compared with va if it is greater it is 1 if va is smaller than v0 it is 0 then my a2 is set as 1 and then my a1 i am assuming it as 1 it can be 0 as well then again i am doing this kind of comparison and make this correction over here it is a1 as 0 similarly all the bits can be decided the advantage disadvantage is given over here the pick of this particular diagram and everything is all also uploaded on, on my instagram page the links are given down in the description box you can please uh, go and watch out my instagram page as well which is explore edu to teach if you like it please follow me over there as well there are regular logic diagrams all the shortcut tricks uploaded on my instagram page which will be very handy for you at the time of your examination so please do follow me over there as well if you like this video don't forget to like share subscribe to my youtube channel and follow me on instagram as well thank you so much guys god bless